Welcome to Mixtape Videos. Today we're taking a closer look at one of the most underrated players in NBA history, Dirk Nowitzki. First, we'll own up to this fact we are Dirk fans. Call us biased, but the fact is that people still put players like Barkley, Garnett, and even Ewing above Dirk, and that's simply not right. Why do we say that? Well, he's 7th all-time in scoring, 8th all-time in offensive win shares, 33rd all-time in defensive win shares, and 7th all-time in total win shares. Dirk's all-around offensive game led to his dominance on that end of the court. He could post up, face up, shoot from the elbow, hit a three, or even drive it. Now, we can all agree that Dirk has never been the defensive player that Garnett and Duncan were. However, Garnett has never been the offensive player Dirk was, so at the very least, they're equal. But that's at the very least, and in reality, they're not equal. Dirk is in a whole other stratosphere. Let's look at some more achievements. Dirk is one of four players with an NBA playoff career average of 25 points per game and 10 rebounds per game. He's one of six players to win a ring with no other All-Stars. As a note, Duncan achieved this one, but the 08 Celtics with Garnett had three All-Stars. Dirk is one of 12 players to have been champion, regular season MVP, finals MVP, and a 10-time All-Star. He's one of nine players to surpass the marks of 25,000 points and 9,000 rebounds for his career. And he's one of only three players to surpass the mark of 1,000 three-pointers and blocks for his career. These are monumental achievements. He didn't just do something great. He did something only three other players have ever done or something six other players have ever done. He is a revolutionary player. I mean, there's never been a guy that played the four or five position that does what he does in terms of shooting the ball. When talking about the greatness of players, fans point out the player's leadership. Garnett was the leader of the Timberwolves. Barkley led his team. Well, what did Garnett lead the Timberwolves to? If they made the playoffs, a first round exit. Now, a lot of people say the Mavericks have always been a first round team since Dirk has been there, but that's actually not true. Oh, and when the Mavericks faced Garnett and the Timberwolves in the playoffs, Dirk outplayed Garnett in nearly every category and the Mavs swept them. Dirk led a team with Eric Dampier, Marquis Daniels, and Desanga Jop to the NBA Finals. Garnett was the emotional leader of a championship team with two other future Hall of Famers. When Dirk did win his ring, he made LeBron James, the chosen one, look like a little boy. James fires over Stevenson. Is he choking under the pressure? The numbers seem to say so. He's only shooting 25% from the field during the fourth quarter. He needs to get his efficiency up. He's a two-time MVP. He made a decision to join the Miami Heat this season. And now, media wants to know what's going on if that championship doesn't take place right now. Charles Barkley and Patrick Ewing were great players in themselves. But even their best achievements don't match the magnitude of Dirk's. And for that reason, we're putting Dirk above Garnett and Barkley and Ewing. That's our opinion, but we want to know what you think. Is Dirk underrated or is he fairly rated? Who do you think is the greatest power forward ever to play? Leave a comment with your response and make sure you subscribe for a new NBA video every week and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.